What kind of computer do you need if you want to learn IT? Going down your learning journey, trying to figure out, do you need to spend thousands of dollars on a computer just to learn the computer? No, you don't. I'll try to make this video as short, quick, to the point as I possibly can, but I'm warning you, I like to talk and it's not gonna happen. So, getting right to the point. If you are trying to figure out how much money you need to spend to start learning IT, maybe you're just enrolling in college and you need to get a computer to you know, figure some things out and actually get your hands on the keyboard and stuff, you know, what, do you, what do you actually need? Now, some colleges, I should say, do say or will be like, put like, these are recommended computers. I will tell you, the only thing that matters, like the one and singular only thing that matters when it comes to getting a computer uh, when you're learning information technology is how much RAM is in that computer. That should always be your number one priority. How much RAM is on that computer? And I say that because pretty much anything these days that's going to give you a sufficient amount of RAM, which I'm saying is like 16 gigs or more, like I would, on, yeah, 16 gigs, that's, that's bare minimum, I would say, honestly, these days. If you can get more than 16 gigs of RAM in a computer, you are going to be rock solid. Can you get by with eight gigs? Yeah, but it's gonna suck. It's really going to suck. It's doable, it's absolutely doable. It's not gonna suck that bad, but it's not gonna be the best, I, for sure. I, I promise you that. Uh, but any, anyways, like any computer these days that's gonna have about 16 gigs of RAM or more in it, well, I would say 99% positive have a more than sufficient processor to do everything you need. Typically, you want to have a processor that has a couple cores to it. So, you know, typically like two to four, right? Two, I say two. I don't even think they make a processor with two cores anymore. Four processors or more, right? Um, or uh, whatever cores, sorry, or more uh, would be fantastic. Um, but again, your RAM is going to be your, your biggest focus uh, because as you're learning IT, one of the things that you're going to find that you're often like doing is opening up numerous tabs of things, like often, like just tabs upon tabs upon tabs of like different like knowledge things, different walkthroughs, different videos and things like that. And that's going to eat up a lot of RAM. Uh, the other thing that's going to eat up a lot of RAM, which is just as important as having all those browser tabs open, is virtualization. Virtualizing operating systems and, and networking equipment and things like that. And that's going to eat up a lot of RAM as well. And you're going to want to do that. So that's what I would be looking at. It does not matter how much money you spend. It does not matter what type of computer it is. I don't care. Like, I literally don't. I, I, I say I don't care. You shouldn't care either. It does not matter what type of computer that it is. It only matters how much RAM is in that thing. And like, yes, hard drive space wise, pretty sure everything that you're going to get these days is going to have over 250 gigs or more, which is going to be sufficient. Anything more than that, it's going to be wonderful and amazing. Okay. But you don't need to spend a crap ton of money on any of this stuff to do what you need to do. Like that's facts. And I know like a lot of people don't want to hear that. I promise you there are people out there who are frustrated by me telling you that you don't need to spend a bunch of money on a computer. Uh, but there are going to be even more people out there like, thank you, Zach, for telling me that I don't need to spend $1,000 on a computer. You don't. Go on Craigslist, on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, reach out to whoever, your friends, family. Ask them if they have a computer with like 16 gigs of RAM in it and how much they'll sell it to you for. Might end up getting a good deal on something used. And that's okay too. Could be a great starting point. If you're going to go buy something new, just look at basically like the bare minimum specs of 16 gigs of RAM or more. And that's it. If you have that, you're going to be okay. That's straight facts, homie. You don't need a MacBook. You don't need some like, I don't know, what are those Alienware things, you know? You don't need a gaming laptop. You don't need like an $8,000 video card. Not needed. You don't need it. So... I hope this helps you. I hope you're like, oh, cool. I don't need to spend a bunch of money. And for the others out there who are like, darn it, Zach, I really wanted to go spend thousands of dollars on a MacBook Pro. So I had that cute little Apple thing. Sorry, but you don't need to do it. I guess I should talk a little bit more about that. Do you need an Apple or a Windows computer to, to like start learning things? It doesn't matter because you can virtualize everything anyway. So if you get a MacBook, you can virtualize Windows. If you get a Windows computer, you can virtualize other operating systems. It's just as well. It's cool. 
It's great. It's wonderful. So I don't need to spend much money. Anyway, that's it. Hopefully that helps. Good luck to you. As always, take it easy.